Alexander hears the sound of voices coming from nearby. Whew. So yeah, this is a covert operation. The old walls are dirty and show the neglect of a forgotten place. The wall has deteriorated significantly in this area, leaving a chink in the wall. Interesting. Let's spy on the guard dogs from our clandestine location. Alexander peers through the chink in the wall. Captain, I've been hearing rumors from the guards who've been watching the princess. They say lately she's been pounding on her door and begging to be let out. Ain't none of my business, sir, but news like that is upsetting the other dogs. Ain't no guard in the castle who would willingly keep the princess anywhere she don't want to be. Hazred <laughs> claims that a foreign intruder is here to assassinate her. That's why she's got to be kept under lock and key right up until the wedding. Call me an old dog that can't learn new tricks, but I say the princess should be the one given the orders. Al-Hazred has been in charge for months, what with the king's death and Kasima's mourning. Tonight, the wedding will seal it, and there's nothing we can do about it. Like him or not, he's our liege. Need I remind you of your oath to the crown? Aye, we've an oath. For the sake of the princess, we'll not be forgetting it. He'd just better treat her well. Speaking of the wazir, what do you reckon he's keeping in that magical room of his? It's not a magic room. It's just the door he's enchanted somehow. I say he's still got the royal treasury in there, along with whatever else he's so eager to protect. Not even the court treasurer is allowed in there anymore. I heard him in the hall the other day. He was speaking to that door. Black magic is what I say. I heard him say, Ali, but then Bay came up and started yapping at me. Enough! It is not our place to question the practices of our liege, no matter how strange. The wedding will be starting soon. Report to the throne room when you hear the music start. Oh, thank you very much for transcribing that. So we said Ali at the door. That's the name of that little boy. Alexander takes another look through the chink in the wall. Captain Saladin has left, and the other two guard dogs are talking too quietly for Alexander to hear them. Damn it. Let's talk to him. Talking to the chink on the wall would do little good. Obviously, I don't want to talk to the freaking chink on the wall. You smart ass. No, go up, go up there. Man, that was difficult to get you to do, Alexander. All right, let's go up. Phew, that was a climb. Alexander hears the faint sound of a woman crying nearby. Okay, now wait a second. I remember this part. Uh, is I don't think that we're supposed to like actually look through it yet. We'll go through here first. Mm, come on. Oh man, this is so secret. Alexander hears the sound of scratching coming from the other side of the wall. What? Okay, we gotta go. We gotta look through this one. Alexander looks through the chink in the wall. Dear Shadrach, salutations from the Society of the Black Cloak, etc., etc. My long preparations are about to come to fruition. In a matter of minutes, I will wed the lovely Casima. <laughs> Once I've established my power and my crown, I can stage another accident. The princess has proven infuriatingly stubborn, as you know. She's becoming quite a dangerous little thorn in my side. 
This is quite incriminating. In a way, it is a shame I have to kill her. She is lovely and would be amusing to keep around, but I can't risk her talking treason to one of the guards. So far, I've managed to keep her locked away, but I can't continue that forever. Well, on to it now. I'd send her to you, but as you know, I had no luck in doing so with Mordak. I close in triumph. King Abdul Alhazred. Man. And now to see to the final preparations. It's almost time for the wedding. <laughs> you evil some bitch. The wizard's words fill Alexander with blazing anger and fear for Kasima's life. That blackguard. That murderous swine. He'll not have his way if I have anything to say about it. Yeah, that's right, Alexander. You you show him. The old walls are dirty and show the neglect of a forgotten place. Uh, I was hoping that there'd be more. Hmm. What about this. The old walls are dirty and show the neglect of a forgotten place. There's no chink right here. Alexander sees nothing of interest there. Nope. Okay. Sorry, like I say, this part's kind of... Hmm. Ooh, look what Alexander I did. Alexander sees lots of black cloaks. Ooh, look what I did. A canopied bed arranged with silk bedclothes and large pillows stands in one corner of the room. There's a box of ebony on the table. Oh crap, we need to take that. Or at least open it. Alexander opens the ebony box and looks inside. Oh shit. Looks like we found some stuff. Inside the ebony box is a piece of paper with the word Zebu printed on it. Aha! Uh -huh. Second half of the password. Ali Zebu. A worn old brush is among the box's trinkets. We gotta take it. The brush is old and small. Alexander isn't interested in taking it. Oh, come on. The bottle contains only a small amount of black ink. Most of it dried at the bottom. Alexander decides to leave it there. What about the note? Can we at least have that? Alexander can read the piece of paper without taking it. You are no fun. All right, I gotta save here to reset my recording, but I will be right back. All right, I'm back. Let's explore the rest of the room. A fire in a small hearth warms the bedroom. Hmm. A storage trunk sits at the foot of the bed. The trunk bears a large brass lock. It's locked, you say? If only we had something that could open up locks. Alexander inserts the skeleton key in the trunk's lock and turns it. He hears a click. Alexander opens the trunk. Ooh, what goodies do we have in here? A small glass bottle filled with oily looking perfume is in one corner of the trunk. Hmm. A few worn leather books occupy the trunk. The top one is entitled Guidebook to the Land of the Green Isle. A book like that might have been a big help when Alexander first arrived. The trunk's owner obviously found it interesting too, for the guidebook is dog-eared and stained. Hmm. Dog-eared, eh? Lots of dog stuff around here. It looks like the owner of this trunk is quite the correspondent. The stack of letters appears to be ordered by date, because the top one is dated only a month ago. What does it say? Alexander picks up the most recent letter and examines it. The letter is addressed to Abdul Alhazred from the wizard Shadrach. It reads, Greetings to a brother of the Black Cloak. I was sorry to hear of Great Mordak's death, though he was a bit of a ninny at chess. It seems the plans for that little kingdom of yours are coming along. I must congratulate you on your handling of the king and queen. Isolating the island so that no protest could develop was another brilliant stroke. It looks like there's not much left to stand in your way. Do as I recommended with the girl, 
and you shall have your crown. That fiend! Yeah, what a bastard! Let's go ahead and save. I want to try some stupid stuff. Like, go out this door. Alexander steps confidently out into the upstairs hallway and sees two guard dogs. Hey, who the... Um... Hello there. Don't just stand there. Grab him, Bay. Uh-oh. Can't run. Uh, I'll bet it's that saboteur fellow the wizard warned us about. I say we run him through right here and now. No. Woof. The wazir will run you through if he doesn't get a chance at the prisoner. Let's put him in the dungeon for safekeeping, then we'll go tell the captain. Aye, Wolf, you're right. Let's go. Do they seriously say Wolf? You'll stay in here until we find out what the wazir wants to do with you. The guard dogs leave Alexander to his fate, locking the door noisily behind them. Alexander wonders how he'll get out of this one. This is a good question. Thankfully, we're a prince, and we have friends. Psst. Prince Alex? Jallo, what are you doing here? Never mind. Quick, before the guard dog patrol comes around again. Jallo, you're so great. But how did you know I was... This is no place to talk, Alexander. Just trust that I know everything that goes on in this castle. Now, be more careful. If you get caught again, I don't know if I'll be able to get you out. So you get one get-out-of-jail-free card. Quite literally. And that's Jollo. Yeah, if you get caught again, he doesn't help you out. It's actually quite convenient that we're right here, though. Because I think this right here... There's a strange door on the west wall. There doesn't appear to be any handle or keyhole on the door. Pretty sure this is where we gotta use the, um... Password. Since the door on the west wall has no visible knob or handle, Alexander decides to try to open it with his voice. He composes his words carefully. Alright. Ali Zebu. Listen, door. I would have you open. Ali Zebu. It worked. Hmm. Alexander is standing in the Castle of the Crown's treasure room. The soft toned room seems very secure. Along the walls are trunks and caskets, probably full of the kingdom's treasure. In the middle of the room is a low table. A small table graces the middle of the room. The table is covered by a velvet drapery. The initials AA are embroidered on the drapery. AA? That must stand for Abdul Alhazred. Uh-huh. Let's take it off. Alexander pulls the drapery aside, curious as to what might lie underneath. What are all these things? On the table is a coat of arms with the head of a beast on the crest. Hmm. Beast said that his coat of arms was stolen by the druids. This must be it. Looks like we found something. On the table is a miniature oak tree. It looks very old. Hmm. That must be the sacred miniature oak that the druids thought the winged one stole. Everything's coming together, isn't it? On the table is a strange looking stone that's giving off an odd high-pitched noise. That must be the Isle of Wonders singing stone. Didn't the queens think that the beast had stolen it? You're awfully slow, Alexander. Try to keep up. On the table is a fleece made of gold. That fleece must belong to the winged ones. And they thought the Isle of Wonder had taken it. As Alexander looks at the objects on the table, he realizes the depth of the wazir's cunning. 
it must have been the wazir or an accomplice who stole that one thing most precious to each island and then leaked rumors that one of the other islands was responsible. What did the wazir have to gain by causing the islands to hate one another? Well, they wouldn't work together to stop him, that's for sure. Man, is that... Is that music still supposed to be going on? It's really pissing me off right now. Alexander Ope. Is it like the wedding music or something? Alright, so I reloaded a previous save because I realized that uh, I couldn't do this part without getting caught again. So here goes. Alexander peers through the chinks in the wall, trying to locate the source of the crying sounds. Alexander's palms begin to sweat and his heart to race. It's Cosima. He's found her. Psst. Princess Cosima. What? Who's there? It is I, Alexander. I'm here behind this wall. My, how suave that sounds. <laughs> Alexander? Aw, here we go. It really is you. Oh, I knew you were close by, but how did you get inside the castle walls? It's a long story and not important now. You did get my ring. Oh, yes. It has brought me such comfort, Alexander, to know you were close by and had not forgotten. But you shouldn't be here. You're only endangering yourself. I'm afraid I'm not the only one in danger. Princess, be brave. I've heard such vileness today, such evil. What is it? al Hazred. He is not what he appears. I've known that for years, Alexander. But with mother and father gone, I'm afraid there's no stopping him. But tell me of what evil you speak. I have been so afraid for my kingdom, not knowing what he plans. The kingdom is in trouble, but the real threat at the moment is to your safety, Princess. al Hazred has such plans. You don't want to wed al Hazred, do you? How can you ask? Of course not. If you do not wish to marry him, Cosima, you shall not. I promise you. But we must get you out of here now. You are not safe. But Abdul would tear the castle apart if I were to disappear from my room. You shall have to do what you can to delay his plans from your end. I can't just leave you here. Alexander, do not despair from me. I have been safe in this room for nearly six months now. Abdul can be in no hurry, whatever he plans. After all, I'm to be his bride, am I not? I have been planning too, you see. I believe I can escape. If I can only get a chance to lay my hands on a weapon, there might be an opportunity in the hustle of the wedding. But I... Shh, just a moment more. Then you must go. Let us not waste time with words. Please, let me just look at you, dear Alexander. Wait. I need to show you this incriminating letter I found. I found this letter in the wazir's bedroom. I... I think you should know what it says. I can't believe it! I had my suspicions, but this confirms everything. Alexander, you must keep the letter. He might have a chance to show it to someone who can help you stop al -Hazred. Just be careful. Thank you. Now, you said something about a weapon, I believe? Well, first, let's look at ya. Alexander looks with longing at the fair Cosima. She's even more beautiful than he remembered. I imagine... <laughs> I imagine she's much more beautiful after traveling through the underworld. Well, I think the scythe is gonna be a little bit unwieldy. So we'll give you the dagger. Oh no! Someone's coming! The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! Damn it! Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the wall. Then, silence. 
<sighs> We've got to reload. Damn it, Sierra. Okay, let's do this quickly. Here you go. Here, take this dagger. It's not much, but it might come in handy. Why, it's perfect. This is just the sort of thing I've been looking for. Thank you, Alexander. I'll keep it close and use it if I must. Can't believe I wasted all that time looking at you. Messed me up. Oh no! Someone's coming! The lock on Cosima's door rattles abruptly. Alexander, hurry! Step away before they see you! Alexander hears scuffling and a woman's brief cry from the other side of the wall. Then, silence. Man, they give you like barely any time to react. Ridiculous. All right, now I'll fast forward to uh, post Ali Zebu. All right, so we're done with Ali Zebu. And I also think that we're pretty much done with this part of the castle. Let's go up here. Out of the basement and into the other part. The basement is pretty cool looking though. Uh oh, guard dogs. Got an intruder! Grab him! Uh, I, I was just looking for the kitchen. T nice try. I'll bet you're the foreign saboteur the wazir warned us about. He sure fits the description. Damn it. He's supposed to be dangerous, Mike. Let's throw him in the dungeon, then go tell Captain Saladin. You just did that. Right. Good idea. You just threw me in here, don't you remember? I think someone must have let our prisoner loose, Ralph. Who would be crazy enough to do that, Hal? I don't know, but if I find out, that traitor will be sorry. Let's keep an extra sharp eye in the halls. We'll make sure no one can get near him again. Right, Hal. The guard dogs slam the door and lock it. Alexander has a feeling there will be no help from Jallo this time. Crap. Good thing we have this skeleton key. Alexander unlocks the door with his skeleton key. And quickly makes his escape. That skeleton key is a wonderful Deus Ex. Love it. Let's get out of here. Damn it, how do we talk to Captain Saladin? He's who we need to talk to. Do we just go back up here? Yeah, go here. And I'll save... Here? Should I do that? Let's make a fourth one, just... There we go. <laughs> Why not? Alexander sees nothing to do there on the wall. Are you serious? I was clearly <laughs> clicking on the door. I'm amazed that we haven't seen any patrol dogs yet. Ah, crap. Uh-oh. Guard dogs. Damn it! Uh... Alexander hears the sound of guard dog voices coming from behind the door at the top of the stairs. One of them must be on his way down. Aha! This is what you have to do. You have to wait for them to leave. Interesting. Come on, you idiot. Get out of there. The door at the top of the stairs opens. A guard dog emerges and starts down the stairs. Good. Don't come towards me, though. Okay, good. Now let's go. I think this is what you have to do. Could be wrong. Alexander hears the guard go into a room off the north hall, shutting the door behind him. Good, see you later. Damn it! Uh-oh, guard dogs. Uh... Got an intruder, grab him! Uh, I, I was just looking for the kitchen. Alexander hears the sound of music coming from the east. It sounds somewhat classical, but... Oh no, it's wedding music. Oh my god. Alexander hears a door off the north hall open. Then, the sound of guard dog footsteps. The footsteps are headed this way. Damn it. 
I have no idea why it's starting now. I went back in that room and came back out. Oh shit. Alexander hears the sound of a guard's footsteps coming from the north. Wait, there are more footsteps approaching from the west. Now what? Ah, fuck. We gotta go up here. Go, go, go. Woo! Are we good to go? Holy shit. Alexander looks cautiously around the Grand Hall, but there are no guard dogs to be seen. Phew! The wedding music is coming from behind those two large doors. Uh-oh. Prince Alexander, here. The Wizier will have my head for allowing you within a mile of the royal wedding. Since you are of noble birth, I will give you five seconds to explain your presence here before killing you. I warn you, it had better be good. Yeah, it, we really literally have five seconds. I don't really want to risk looking around the room. So let's show him this letter. Wait! If you love your princess, you'll hear me out. The Wazir is not what he appears to be. Kasima is in terrible danger. I have proof that this is so. For your princess's sake, you must believe me. Let me see that. Saladin reads the letter, his sword points still against Alexander's throat. Alexander watches the guard dog's noble face darken with rage. This is treason. I'll have his throat. But how do I know this letter is not a forgery? You could have written this yourself. But I did not. Have you no doubts of your own about a Hazred? Don't you see? All he wants is the crown. Kasima is being coerced. We must stop the wedding. It is true. I have had my suspicions about the Wazir, especially when King Caliphim and Queen Alaria died. But I have seen Kasima with him several times. She appears to be quite happy, even enthusiastic. I don't believe she could love him if he truly were so wicked. I cannot believe for a moment that she loves that snake. A jilted lover would not believe it. But come, see for yourself. Uh, here we go. 